Welcome back to here to West Palm Beach. Four to nothing, Palm Beach Atlantic with the lead. Jana Wagner will be your new pitcher. And I got to tell you a story about Miss Jana Wagner coming on to pitch her senior season four years ago. Was an Illinois State champion. Her high school team just going against all odds and coming out of nowhere to win that state championship. And Wagner gets set and delivers a foul ball back into the backstop, strike one on Jayla Stewart. But Jana and her high school team, one of her teammates in particular, center fielder, Jana, the star pitcher, both dealing with personal losses, her best friend losing her father and then Jana losing her mother in an unexpected death and complications after a routine knee surgery. This hit on the ground, fair ball scooped up by Michaela Hines down at first, and there's one away. Jana then, of course, dedicated the season basically every day of her life to her mother. And after winning the state championship the year she passed away, she finds herself back here in college. Take a look at this play by Hines down at first base, making it just inside to keep it fair. Now finding herself in Palm Beach Atlantic in a quest for a national championship in her senior season. Ground ball up towards short. Kaylee Hines can't handle it. And the error will put a base runner aboard for Albany State. But Jana trying to honor her mom every moment she gets a chance. After she warms up before every inning that she pitches, she goes, drops down on the dirt and draws a heart in there. Just the room for her mom to remember everything that she did for her and how much she loves her and knows that she's watching over her. So she's a pleasure to talk to about it too. Everything's good, good stories about her mother. But what a... What a chap any chapter it would be if she's able to help the Sailfish in their quest for a national championship in her senior year in college as she led to her high led her high school team in a state championship her senior year up in Illinois. Megan Shepard is gonna come to the plate for Albany State, runner over at first, and the pitch by Wagner is high on the inside for ball one. Jana looking in and delivers a bullseye. Even the count up at a ball and a strike. Megan Shep at the plate takes it. It's now two and one. Shep is ready, Wagner delivers, and it's now a three ball, one strike count with one out. Sheely Evans is over at first running, checking her swing and holding back. Is Shep, she'll go down to first after drawing the walk. And now two runners aboard with one down here at the top of the seventh inning. The shortstop, Jordan Baranello at the plate. Swings and fouls it off the backstop. Nice grab by Biggs on the ricochet. We've seen both catchers do that here in tonight's ball game. Moreo did it back early on and now Biggs with some quick reflexes. Well, you have Evans up at second base. And re-entering into the ball game, back down at first is Micaiah Hare, Harris. So Harris over at first, Evans up at second, and the pitch misses up high to even things up, and a ball and strike. 
to Jordan Baranello. Wagner unable to find the strike zone, and it's two balls at a strike with one out. Be nice to get a twin killing here. Four to nothing, Sailfish leading top of the seventh inning, two outs away from advancing. Here's the pitch by Wagner, misses upstairs again, and she just kind of shrugs her shoulders, not really knowing where it's going. We'll take a look at, <laughs> I'm looking at Coach Castro on the Sailfish dugout. Her knee is just going a million miles an hour over there. Here's the 3-1 from Wagner. Bullseye, and it's now 3-2. That's a big-time pitch by the Sailfish senior. Wagner, 6-1 record, 2.10 earn run average delivers, and it's hit in the air foul over the Sealfish dugout and out of play. Jordan Baranello has an opportunity here with two runners on, her team trailing 4-0, and it's skied into the air infield. Coming out and not able to fight the lights and make the catch. It'll ricochet off Arreno and go towards the dugout of Albany State, and the bases are loaded. So the tying run will now come to home plate, and Coach Castro is coming out of the dugout. Infield fly, Dave. So an infield fly is the call on the right side. Yeah, so they're calling the infield fly as Reno came on, was not able to make the catch, so the runners can advance at their own risk. And they did so. But the batter is out. So there's two outs now here in the inning. The bases are not loaded. It's runners at second and third. As this beautiful night sky off in the distance is upon us. Selfish looking to make it a perfect night and close things out here at the top of the seventh inning. Wagner dips, delivers. Woo! Called a strike over the plate, 0-1. Oh Demetrio Russell is your batter. The final shot for Albany State here in game one. Wagner delivers, and it's a check swing foul back into the screen. They're down to their final strike. Jana Wagner looking in, delivers, and misses off the outside corner, one and two. Wagner winds, delivers, two and two. Wagner looking over, has the shine, the 2-2 pitch. Swung, out of miss, got her. And Jenna Wagner closes it out, the Sailfish win, four to nothing. So tomorrow, beginning at 1 p.m., it will be Palm Beach Atlantic University taking on Alabama Huntsville right here at Simpson Field, and then in the later game at 3.30, it will be Valdosta State taking on Albany State, and they will move on through the bracket. But the Sailfish victorious shot in the bottom of the fifth inning here tonight. They will move on in the winner's bracket and go off and take